Hello everyone and welcome! My name is Ivan Skaldi and today we're going to do our best to answer another QA question. Hi all! After player wins the round, they're taken to a screen showing them their stats. I want to play U1 effect sound effect. After it finishes, I want to play the U1 music. Music. Currently, I have it as searched. He has a sample player, he's playing it, he has a global music playing where he stores the the, the, the the resource for the music he's gonna play in his stream player music, and he plays it right away. Okay. And due to this, it plays them both at the same time. Now, I know I could use a signal that when the sound sample player finishes playing, it could trigger the music, but unfortunately, I use the sound sample player and the stream player as a global scene so it can play across scenes and send many different music tracks and sound effects to them. Okay, the question is, how can I get it to play the music after the sound effect in this situation? Advice appreciated a plenty. Not only am I going to give you advice, I'm going to demonstrate two different methods of doing so. I have prepared a project ahead of time here. All we have here is a sample player, 2D, and a stream player. The stream player is going to play a music track saved as an OGG file. If you don't know, don't know how to create an OGG file, you can use a program such as Audacity. Audacity is completely free and all you have to do is Google it to find it. Enough about that, let's jump into the task at hand here. How do you play sound effects and then afterward play stream player? Okay, let's jump into the code here. I have already gathered a get node, so I already have references, references to SFX player and the stream player. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by playing the sound effects for sound effect for the SFX player. So the play, we're gonna play the SFX sample. Now the SFX sample can be found inside the sample library of the sample player. You can have several tracks, as you probably already know. In this case, I have two tracks, one called SFX and one called SFX2. It's the same, it's the same music, uh, rather sound effect, but I will use this for demonstration purposes. Okay, so how do you know whether or not this is done playing? Well, because there is no signal in sample player 2D, as you can see here, unlike the sample player that actually has a signal that sends when it finishes. We will have to do a check. Now, a check can be used in set process, or you can create a loop, a while loop, that checks until it is done playing. So let's create a func process delta. Now, what we want to do is basically check is this done playing? And that is done if is voice active, and then you add a zero inside there. So this will return true if this is currently playing something. It doesn't matter what it's playing, it's gonna be playing SFX1 or 2, or rather SFX or SFX2. It will still return true if this is playing anything. But we want it when it's not playing, so you don't know when it's done playing. So if this is done playing, and we're not already playing the music, so if stream player music is not active, so is playing here. So not stream player is playing. So if both these conditions are true, we are going to play the stream player music. So we enter stream player music dot play, and that's all you have to do, really. What's going to happen is whenever you start this, we're gonna stop playing the music. Then we're gonna enable the process, which runs, 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 runs forever until you stop it. Now this is just a way of doing it. Whether or not you have a process. It's something you will have to solve on your project. Then we hit him play. And it plays the music directly after the sound effect has completed. Wonderful! Now that is one way of doing it. You basically just need a loop that checks whether or not this has stopped playing after you started playing this. And well, that is just one way of controlling whether or not it has done playing before you play the music. Another way so it's got uncommon says process here, is to change the type. If you absolutely have to use a sample player, you cannot use this method. This is just simply by changing the method from a sample player to a stream player. And then you have to create an OGG or MPC or any other supported format for the sound effects, which I've done ahead of time here. Instead of using a process, this is actually much, much easier. You just connect it with the signal. Finished. And when it's finished, you send a signal to yourself in a function called, let's call it for, let's call it play music. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Play music. So what's happening now, we're gonna start playing, and when it is done playing, it's gonna signal itself with a finished. It's gonna signal finished, which then in turn is going to run the method called play music. Funk, play music. 
and then you just play the music. I'm just gonna copy this line here and paste it there. Okay, so we don't need any string in here, so we just play it because a stream player only supports one track at a time here. So now it should hopefully work. Perfect. It works as expected. And that is two ways of solving your problem here. I'm going to put the source code as usual in a link in the description where you can just download and play this yourself. You can try it out yourself. I'm going to keep all of this in so you can modify it and test it out. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye!